dead, bro. Where I headed first was my room, where I'd let Sayaka stay the night for stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that night, oh shit, the room had completely transformed. What? What the hell? Ah, oh, fuck, guys. Guys. There's a keychain on the ground. It has my name on it, so it must be my room key. I gave it to Sayaka when we traded rooms. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I'd better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. Oh my, what the fuck? Why is her blood pink? It took me... Wait, add me, Alex? To what? Did you, oh, did you add me on Steam or something? I thought I had you on Steam. Oh, I didn't. Oh fuck, I didn't read that shit. Ah, well, she's dead. <laughs> when I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remember seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah! Ah! You're awake! Finally! Are you okay? Now's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up! Huh? Uh, um... You were in conscious dude I had to carry you back here well it's no surprise considering what happened what happened hey Timmy yeah um. hey hey are you okay so it wasn't a, uh, so it wasn't a dream what I saw it was real that's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body. And then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I, I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... If Sayaka is... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No! I have to see for myself! Why? Why? Listen to us, man. What do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? Well, well what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? I mean... Why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend Sayaka... She's... She's dead! Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. But why is her blood pink? Calm down. Uh, none of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Shouldn't it be obvious? Mana... Kuma... He told us all to come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all pro We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But... But... So... I'm the one who's convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! I would never do that! If you can believe anything, you can believe that! 
He's here again. Hey, Unless someone violates a school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you I would I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up. I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bear times one rule. But then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you! Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid. That's... Hmm? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a d See a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. That's there's nothing wrong with that. Well, you you're lying, right? Uh, of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope. Sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to. The one who did it could testify that to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Uh, are you serious? What, what is this? Someone... Someone killed someone! <laughs> it is amazing what... The People are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hm. If one of us really did kill her, the person gets to graduate from school, right? Huh? huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz. <laughs> naive! You're just so naive! You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? You're super naive! Devilishly naive! Hellishly naive! No, 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 no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part of the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You are re referring to the rule number six of the school regulations. If you... If you are the black end that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you are talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it! Which naturally means you need a system in place to access whether or not it's gone... It's been gotten away with! So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin! Class... Trial? Am I... Actually... Hmm. Yup. I'll begin a few hours after the murder, for it'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the Blackened who committed the murder. And they, the spotless students, will engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote! 
If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which, of course, means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. But so one person gets... So that's it? It's like game over? Well... So, um... What exactly is punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply... It's execution. Uh, execution? What? And by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! Okay. So... so... To make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well done. What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system. Or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who th you think the killer is. Hmm. But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just add a little rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in your mind. Hey. Wh wait, hold on a second. You're freaking insane, you know that? Huh? What the? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't even want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? What? Are you saying you're gonna... You're not gonna participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What the hell are you talking about? What? Punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want. I'm not gonna be part of this. I don't believe it! Stop it! Uh, you're the one being selfish. Keep whoever you want. It's not gonna... It's got nothing to do with me. The evil standing here before me. I'm trembling with fear. Shing! But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us. Although it was more of a waddle. But then... Oh, upskirt. I mean, nothing. Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me! Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Uh. This wasn't supposed to. Why me? S 
suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! What? What the? Uh, I don't. Th this can't be real! No way! Well now. Now, I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. <laughs> but I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson, after all. Ah, what an amazing promise! But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated. Why is the blood pink though? Is that like a setting? So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Junko's body is being paled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment somebody's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She's been mated. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Right, um... It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic. So it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. <laughs> this is reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. Oh, really? No. You've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time! Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Well now. Anyway, none of that really matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the Blackened. This little file has all the information I've gather gathered about the death in question. I'd like to call it... It's the Monokuma file! I mean, naturally you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then. Wait. So then. You know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do! If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial, now could I? That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice! Okay, we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. 
He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. Uh, and for who knows how long. What time is it? About 11.30. Nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually just murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Uh, I don't like, I don't know how to do her voice. Like, I just talk like really quick. Uh, no. Now's no time to wallow your, in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you let decide to trust or not trust is of course up to you. Oh my god, guys. Stop posting porn in my chat. This is not the time or the place for it. Actually, I don't really care. Now you gotta bang the programmer. Who you let decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. Uh, continuing to think about... To think about and talk about the deceased is certain... The isn't going to help anything. What the heck? S saying stuff like that is just. <sighs> How many times uh, have I told you? Anyone who can adapt will die. That is uh, the only thing awaiting uh, those who are unable to or willing to, un to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, uh, you only have yourself to blame. What an awful thing to say! Especially after what's happened! Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from this situation. So we have no choice but to move forward. Uh, we just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell I'm letting someone kill me. Alright, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there's something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why... I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Damn, everybody just like standing around her dead ass body right here. <laughs> oh, thanks for adding me as a regular wave. Okay. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. 
What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting something on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, the court. <coughs> After all, the culprit decides to destroy the evidence. We're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no. We can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Ugh. Wh fuck you! So then. Fine. Then I'll stay on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op base defense with two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP! Since we won't have time to investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but... I'll try. Uh, okay. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in the movies and stuff, but... She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She, she was gone. <laughs> I don't think you know. I don't. I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood, frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? huh? H hold on. H hold on. J j just wait a second. She she's dead. Then that means. What? That means. Everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Hell no! S someone save me! Let me. Yeah, someone help me! What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? God, what a fucking dumbass. Uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna check to see if I could turn off the pink blood and stuff. Uh, I guess there isn't a way to do it. Alex don't mind if they a little cold. Damn, bro. Uh, fuck, man. Uh... So you finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? Noticed what? I uh, was looking through the uh, Monokuma uh, file we received. And I noticed something very obvious and uh, very unusable. Uh, huh? Huh? W what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, go ahead and take a look. Uh, notice anything interesting about where uh, Sayaka died? Uh, she uh, died in the chat room. Ah. But she's right. <laughs> then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned on to me. Uh, hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. For for just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, you, you expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you, you think I did it? So then. Are we done talking? 
We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We have to collect clues to form founda a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? Uh, I'd rather you did it. No. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoka hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like that, Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm going on guard duty, huh? I'd better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, You're fucking dead. they'd better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. We never gonna bang anyone anyways. <laughs> Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. But, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway... But, we don't really have to do anything in particular. We, we already know who c killed Sayaka. What are you implying, bitch? This is it very suspicious. It was y you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. What the fuck? D don't come any closer. Are you gonna k kill me next? So, um. Well, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Chad is guilty yet. Um. That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. Even if I wanted to, I could could it help inv investigate? Uh, Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not g good with b blood. All it takes is one g glimpse, and I b black out. Oh yeah. Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. All right, I guess I better get going. What the fuck? There's a dead body right there. <laughs> what? What do you mean she'd blo she's dead? <laughs> she killed her. Well, wait. Don't go yet. I. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had left already, and their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? Uh, I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... Execution. Execution! Everyone we try to bang is just gonna die. Electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. I... I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really- It was that- It was that bitch with the glasses. <laughs> who really killed Sayaka! Uh, I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got. Oh my god, Timmy. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Chad's room, in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There is also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow... I have to find the truth so that we can all survive and for Sayaka I have to find out how she was killed 
Nice. Okay, cool, thanks. Uh, I should probably go to the room, right? Uh, wait, I can like fast travel, I think. I think. Wait, what's a truth bullet? This is where I want to go. How do I go here? Oh, I can't fast travel during this. Okay, that's lame. I might play some Overwatch. Alex only plays games that require one. I gotta use two hands for this. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime. My room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room where Sayaka's corpse still remained. I'd better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Huh? Look at the lint roller. It looks like there's been... There's way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Uh, this is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold, too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off parts of the blade in the handle. Yeah, the handle is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touched a little bit. Okay. Sick. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it. So it must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Uh, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we, when we switched rooms, we switched keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then... How did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it. Or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer? Uh... This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, the sword's been taken out of it, so it's just the sheath, but... Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how'd the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you should do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off into the middle of the fight. 
So why are there scratches on the sheath? Wait, let me ask you one second. That's what the that's what this is. the display stand the sword was on. The, stool, the toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. It, I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? We what? ain't exactly in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So, you haven't used yours either, then? What? Not just what? me, nobody's busted theirs out yet. Far as I know. Actually, we were just talking about it yesterday. By the way... None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Cause, like, why the hell would we? Uh... There are scratches and gouges on the walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it! I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could... So something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you would you could know. Well, perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Uh. By the way, you know. I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Y yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch. That dirty bastard. Ugh, shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum. That deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if you ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But, but what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. Fuck, I'm an idiot. That'll all get sorted when the time comes. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whether decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully expecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she was doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she stood up straight and said Listen. are you a clean freak huh N no I, I don't think so but what nodding she glanced around my room one more time I see. what's interesting okay. just as I suspected there's something very unusual about your room 
unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to... I see. Your room didn't have a single hair in it. And someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Okay, maybe I should, uh, shit, shit in the bathroom. The bathroom. Bitch, it would take more than one lint roller to lint roll an entire room. Bitch. And on the other side of this door. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Ooh, rip. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her... her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But... Th but that thought held me up and supported me. Oh, man. This is, uh... It's pretty fucked up. I told myself I couldn't face it, what I saw, but, but now knows time, but now knows, but now's no time to think like that. I pulled out Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist too. Right there where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger. But, that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so... How come only her left finger? The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible her wrist... It's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... What? Written blood? were the numbers 1103... It says Leon upside down. <laughs> Did Sayaka do this? The 
The water for the showers gets turned off after nighttime. Okay, so that's relevant. It would seem... It looks like you found it, right, Chad? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what could possibly what that could possibly mean. So The way she wrote the numbers makes me think that she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting, the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well. Think about it. You're not going to tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvicted. I have no idea what you're trying to say, except I do. Uh, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Oh my god. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to when it comes to numbers. Who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Get stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll find right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoka said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob? Uh... What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious it was this that it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So I I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my d bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girl's bathroom can lock it, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently, struck with sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night, but when we switched rooms... So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all of this. I see. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. I still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from, and also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. 
And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Uh, I gotta go to like the trash room, right? <clears throat> uh, where is it? Uh, hold on. Okay, it's, it's over here. Oh shit. Okay. There's a hatch on the floor. The door won't budge, it must be locked. Oh, nice. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, fuck this motherfucker. <laughs> it's the end of the line. The trash room. This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go any further. No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further. Who's on cleaning no, duty? No, you can't go any further. What the fuck? This is stupid. It'd be better just to go around and ask the no, others. No, you can't go any further. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, that actually scared the fuck out of me. Yo, your name's on the wall, bruh. Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Saki was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? So, I gotta go into her room, right? Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did some... Wait. Fuck, what was her name? Uh. Wait, where, where the fuck is her room? Toko, Junko, Celeste, Biakia, Mondo, Taka, Kyoko, Sai. Oh, here we go. God. Huh, this is definitely my room, but the nameplate says has Sayaka's name on it. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? So, all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? <laughs> 